Hey everybody, in this short video we're going to take a look at OptiSigns and the player software they have available for Linux. Let's get started. All right, so we are on our Linux desktop and this is one of the 23.04 demo VMs that I've put together. And in the web browser in Firefox, I've got the OptiSigns help document up on how to install this on Linux. So let's come down here and they've got both a 32 and a 64 bit. We want 64 bit obviously, and it downloads as an app image. So we can get rid of the browser and come over here to the file manager to use our OptiSigns software, all we have to do is go to Properties and make it executable. And now we simply double click on the app image. We might have to do one other thing to get our application to work. I'm going to open up a terminal and we're going to run sudo apt install libfuse2. Okay. Now we go back to our file manager, downloads. Aha! That did make it work. Okay. It asks, would you like to integrate the app image for OptiSigns with your system. We're going to say no, and it should launch in full screen mode here. So what we're going to do is on the Mac, we're going to go to app.optiscience.com. It does have a close icon here. Okay, and so it wants you to create an account and Give me just a moment and we will do that. Okay, so we're on our OptiSigns account. This is a trial account and you can use this to test out the software, which is kind of great. Add screen. So we're gonna jump back over here. 4TDJJL. 4TD. J, 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 L, pair. It's like type of content you want to assign to your screen for convenience, a simple playlist, and a few simple assets have been created for you. We're gonna say playlist, schedule playlist, is gonna be the sample playlist or simple playlist, and landscape is good, and we're gonna say Michigan, background type, image, they have a sample image, they do, sync play, so if you have multiple screens you can sync, show downloading status, everything else is good I think, and just like that we've got a digital sign. Now I have used Screenly before. I have used Yodec, which is a commercial product before. The great part about this is that you can use it with one of those mini PCs on Amazon. Low to high. $137, which is probably cheaper than what you can put together a Raspberry Pi kit for these days. $159, $160 for an actual Intel NUC. Again, uh, so this would be $149 with coupon. And they go up from there. But uh, if we just search mini PC N3350, which is going to be a Celeron, 
we may find something even cheaper. This would be a previous version, previous generation version. And here you go, $89. And that honestly would be rather perfect for this kind of application. So you've got different options here, files and assets. So you've got background images, uh, New York weather, which we would want to change. We might want to say Detroit weather, Let's say Detroit, Michigan, and theme Pacific blue. Let's go with that. We can save it. And we should have here an update that was rather quick. We'll close this off. Playlists. So each of these is set to 10 seconds. We're going to delete ESPN because I don't really follow sports all that much. And so this is, this is actually pretty slick for getting something up and going quick and being able to use lower end hardware. Proof of play. So just for the sake of argument, let's see what the pro and enterprise plans look like, or pro and standard. So we're looking at $10 per screen per month with 10% off if paid yearly. And it goes up a couple notches from there. Again, there are free options available. But as a little bit of a digital signage junkie, I always kind of like to try out the free trials so that I can know what's available and out there. Uh, it does give you schedules. So if you wanted to have a playlist only play for a part of a day or different points during the month, you could schedule that. Again, you could add playlists. So if we wanted to upload files, let's say we'll come here to pictures and we'll just grab some of my YouTube thumbnails, upload eight files. Okay. We're going to create a new playlist and we are going to add to the playlist. Uh, let's see. Several of these images. We're going to change the playlist to be YouTube. Size 9.04 megabytes. Total time is 80 seconds. And we're going to go to screens. And we're going to edit screen one. And we're going to change the playlist to YouTube. And we can look at our other options here. And then if we jump back to our sign, we've got the YouTube playlist playing. Obviously there's a difference in this VM between the size of the image and the size of the uh, resolution for the virtual machine, but that's all right. This was meant just to show how quickly you can get something up and running. You don't even have actually have to install any software other than that one library that we needed in order to make the app image run. So what do you think? The pricing isn't bad. 108 for a year if you pay in advance, and that is per screen. So obviously if you started ramping up the number of screens, it's going to add up 
fairly quickly. But if you got a group of businesses that all wanted to go in on a digital signage co-op type of thing where they're each paying their own and having one person designated to do the management because there are a lot of non-tech savvy people out there, this could be lucrative or you could offer it as a service and have the cost of the sign plus your management fee on top of it. So what do you think? Yes, there are free options out there. Not all of them allow you to use off-the-shelf hardware. That's one nice thing I do uh, see with OptiSigns is that not only do you have the option of dropping it here in a VM for testing purposes, but you also have the option of using very inexpensive off-the-shelf, low-end mini PCs to make this work. Just a thought. Let me know down in the comment section if you have a use case for this or can conceive of a use case for this. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a great day.